good day to you all i am ch srinivas rao associate professor department of computer science svkp and dr k s raju art science science college penugonda today i discuss what is cloud computing with an example why the cloud the name suggests and what are the benefits of cloud computing and finally discuss various types of clouds now what is cloud computing cloud computing can be defined as delivering computing power cpu ram network speeds etc as a service over a network usually that is on internet rather than physically having the computing resources at the customer location that means there is no resources available at customer location the customer can access all the services those services are provided by the cloud vendor example of cloud computing is aws azure google cloud i will give one numerical example for cloud computing whenever you travel through a bus or train you take a ticket for your destination by paying some amount and hold back to your seat till you reach your destination that means you have to pay some amount to travel likewise other passengers also takes ticket and travel in the same bus with you when your stop comes you get off the bus thanking the driver but that bus is not your own you are paying some amount for traveling cloud computing is just like that bus carrying data and information for different users various users can use that and it allows to use its service with minimal cost the cost is very less why the name cloud the term cloud came from a network design that was used by network engineers to represent the location of various network devices and their interconnection the shape of this network design was like a cloud i will show the cloud symbol these are the end users the end users can access the services from the cloud and those services are provided by the service provider now you call it cloud vendor cloud vendor can provide various services to the customers and those customers can access this the customers doesn't know whether the service is from a particular server the service provider can provide it they don't know the end users don't know the where the service comes so that's why the symbol is cloud now again discuss the benefits of cloud computing so whenever the customer uses the cloud services it low the it infrastructure and computer cost because they need not buy all the resources so they can take the rent rent base they can use the resources on rent base similarly it improves the performance maintenance issues are very less because the maintenance is also done by the cloud vendor software updates is also is also takes care by cloud vendor it improves the compatibility between operating systems that means suppose if you use the one operating system and there is an update the updations are also done by the cloud vendor the cloud vendor also takes care of the backup data backup and recovery so the performance is increased and the cloud is very scalability cloud services are very scalable it also increase the storage capacity 
it also provides data safety the safety is again takes care by cloud vendor now it discuss various types of clouds whereas different types of clouds one is the private cloud community cloud public cloud and hybrid cloud first i discuss private cloud computing resources are deployed for one particular organization this method is more used for intra business interactions that means this services are provided for only one organization where the computing resources can be gone or owned and operated by the same organization that means single organization can use the services provided by the vendor that is called private cloud second one is community cloud computing resources are provided for a community or a set of organizations that's why only that community can use the computer resources provided by the vendor third one is the public cloud this type of cloud is usually for business to consumers type interactions the business is used by the consumers the so similarly the computing resources is owned and operated by government an academic or business organization this is a public anyone can access the last one is hybrid cloud this type of cloud can be used for both type of interactions maybe that is business to business or business to consumer the computing resources are bound together by different clouds so this is the introduction of cloud computing thank you one and all thank you